<laughs> it's time for sports and you know we're going to be talking about that uh, Chelsea Manchester match which was played over the weekend Gary L Smith I know that some, a lot of people were unhappy I'm sure you know they were even a little bit sick you know after that you know humiliating defeat by Chelsea of Manchester United yeah are you a Manchester United fan? On behalf of Israel, I uh, like to accept this award. <laughs> so, um, and, uh, of course, we all share in on, his glory. On behalf of Israel's wife and kids <laughs> and mother and father, this is for Israel. I, Don't yeah. worry, your turn will come. Now, <laughs> so more important matters uh -huh. of the Chelsea and Manchester United mm -hmm. match. Well, um, yeah, it was what it was and it was very interesting. I mean, you, where, which color were you on the day? You know, I'm in the middle. So, I mean... <laughs> I really wasn't rooting for any, but I was happy that Manchester United got beaten at least for once because they're always winning. They're really? always on a winning streak. So I thought Chelsea, but it was interesting because um, uh, Jose Mourinho was coming back to his home turf yeah. and he was beaten right there. But there was these conspiracy theories that, you know, he allowed Chelsea to beat Manchester United. He allowed United. what? Chelsea to beat Manchester like United that? because he's still, you know, in his heart, has Chelsea at the bottom of his heart. Uh, so, like he's an agent, a mole? <laughs> no, he still loves Chelsea. All right. But tell us, give us the details. All right, thank you very much. And thank you for joining us on the Sports on Prime. I am Gary Alsmith. We'll come to that foreign bit in a second. However, well, as you may know, um, the draw for the African Nations Cup was done. The World Cup qualifiers are still ongoing for the Black Stars. The African Women's Championships, which is the female version of the African Cup, we've been previewing it the whole of last week. And now, Ghana's under-17 team has also been drawn. So our national teams are very busy. Now, they'll be hosting Madagascar, Guinea, and Cameroon in Group A as the draw was done. Let's get the details. The national male under-17 football team, the Black Starlers, have drawn host nation Madagascar, Guinea and Cameroon in the 2017 African Under-17 Championship. Ghana qualified to the tournament after defeating Burkina Faso and La Côte d'Ivoire in the qualifying series. The Black Starlers will qualify to the 2017 FIFA Under-17 World Cup, which will be hosted by India if they make it to the semi-finals of the African Under-17 Championship. Here is head coach of the team, Parkwisi Fabian. First of all, we want to go and fight for the slot, for the World Cup slot, and then see what, what, what will happen next. So now for the, for the first target is to get the slot for the World Cup, and then see if we can fight for the trophy at stake. We have a very good team. We just need to add one or two, especially to certain positions, and then there'll be, there be a win some team. The Black Starlets will be making their ninth appearance in the African Under-17 Championship. Ghana won the competition in 1995 and 1999. Also, well, in reaction to this, and well, if I should say, meanwhile, the GFA vice president says he's not impressed by the facilities at Ghana's camping base. This is a report by Joy Sports Baba Tando. Well, with the stadiums and the stadiums and the training facilities, I know very well that they will be able to make it. Um, the facilities are about 70-80% complete and I believe that with three months they should be able to complete it. But my worry is the teams based in Franceville, Pochantel and OEM. In terms of hotel facilities, oof, I don't think that they meet what one would call a four-star or a three-star. Um, most are, at best, two-star hotels. And these are some of the things that I think that in CAF coming, taking decisions on host nations, they need to uh, take these things into consideration. I believe that my own country, Ghana, was bidding to host this tournament and then were bidding to it by Gabon. So going to Gabon, I thought that, yes, I'm going to see something that is much, much better because I believe that if we had hosted the competition, we have Accra, Cape Coast, Sakuradi, and Esipon, and then Tamale. Even Kumasi, now we can boast of. Even at, at West, we can still repair, uh, um, prepare Oboasi, Linkley, and then even Sunyani to host these competitions. And so what I saw in actual fact, to my, to my uh, best analysis, I think that they are below standard. The, the hotels are below standard. So how would this affect um, the preparations? You are chairman of the Black well, Stars Management Committee. Well, um, we're still going to go back, I can tell you. Um, we are looking whether we can still get something better than what we've been allocated. Uh, we are in the same hotel with Gabo, um, Uganda. 
Egypt had a separate hotel, Mali had a separate hotel, but the two of us, I mean, were housed in the biggest hotel, which even in that case is still not up to about a three-star hotel. Um, with the swimming pool, um, gym and other stuff, is a bit of um, standard, but the accommodation itself is substandard, I have to admit. It's not really going to affect us. We need to just um, psych our players to accept at least a maximum of a three weeks tournament. They need to just adjust themselves to the Africans and so they know how it takes to um, adjust themselves to situations like that. We've done it before. When we're in, a, um, we're in Equatorial Guinea, um, in our final match against uh, Ivory Coast, we were housed in containers, but still we still managed to make it. And so I think that these are things that we've been through several times, and especially when in 2012 we were in Franceville, which is in much worse situation than Pochantel. So I don't think that it's... But I want to urge um, fans going to Equatorial Guinea Gabon to up their pockets. Yes, very expensive. Very, especially Pochantel is a very expensive city. Um, hotels ranges from $270 upwards. And so, I mean, to, talking to somebody from multimedia, you need to talk to Mr. Kwesi Chumwen, HQAM, to make sure that yeah, your budget it's, it's well catered for. <laughs> The Afghan starts in about 89 days and it is only expected that the Gabonese local organizing committee will step up preparations to host the rest of Africa for the continental showpiece. Tournament will be great but per his advice it will be expensive so if you want to go to Gabon start putting in your uh, piggy banks uh, start you know bringing them out. In the English Premier League as Araba was talking about Manchester United humbled, well, to put it mildly, by Chelsea. And Mourinho is not getting the best out of his players. That's one of the reactions coming from former player Graham Sonny.